What's up, everybody? It's Alex, the founder and CEO at Motoroso. And a couple weeks back, we put out a video about my 2016 Ducati Multistrada Enduro adventure bike build after my ride down in Baja. I did a whole bunch of mods to build it up as my perfect adventure bike, including things like crash bars and pannier side racks, soft bags, um, squadron lighting from Baja Designs, all the goodies for doing adventure riding. But in that video, I mentioned that I was having trouble finding a good aftermarket top case solution. Now, when these bikes were sold new, they were sold with a Ducati branded Touratech uh, pannier and top case offering. And that was a very expensive upgrade, but of course, super high quality products made by Touratech. But the thing was, Ducati made a deal with Touratech where they couldn't make and sell those in the aftermarket at all. So if you want to get those for your bike, if it didn't come with them and you didn't opt for that or you're buying this bike used and it doesn't have them, you got to spend all that money. And it is a lot of money. And I didn't really want to do that. And what I found was when I went to go find Top K Solutions, there really practically was nothing out there. So I said, we're going to keep looking. And we did. And we found a great solution. This setup is going to be a combination of two different products from two different companies, starting with the small niche manufactured dynamic motorcycle accessories. It took me a while to find these guys, but I found out they're a subdivision of a company called Bang Fabrication that makes aluminum and composite machined uh, parts and, and goods for all kinds of different applications. And they look for opportunities like this and answer the market's needs with this exact kind of a thing. And what they've done here is they've created a 12 by 14 inch luggage rack top case mount that comes with all the necessary mounting hardware to mount right up to the stock luggage rack and grab handles on the Multistrada Enduro. And it's a really creative and ingenious way of mounting a top case mount. And it also comes with all the necessary hardware to mount up and be compatible with a Jivy monokey case. And of course, Jivy makes tons of different monokey case options. So that gives you the flexibility to really know, uh, or sorry, to really choose exactly how you want to set up your top case situation. Now they also have a really creative solution for adding a backrest to this rack. This can actually mount directly to the rack when you don't have a top case there and act acts as a backrest uh, for a passenger. So that's a really creative solution. Of course, an optional add-on for the dynamic top rack. Now I've chosen to go with Jivy top case to be compatible, of course, with this mono key system. And I've chosen their top of the line Trekker Outback cases. Now these avail are available in either an aluminum color or their black color. Of course, it is made out of aluminum and it has these plastic corner guards. These things are tough and rugged and meant to stand up to real advantage adventure riding. They also have, of course, uh, metal hinges, all the extra lashing areas if you need to strap even more things to the outside of this. And you can swap the keys to make sure that you have matching keys for all of your cases across. And of course, they make matching side pannier cases as well in both 37 liters and 48 liters. Now, if you don't need quite 58 liters, which I think is going to be a good match for my 1200cc uh, bike, and you want to run a smaller case, it's available also in a 42 liter. This retails for 570 and this retails for around 4 438. You can check the links in the description for the best pricing on these as well. Now, in a minute, we're going to show you how to install that top case with that dynamic mount. But before we do so, I wanted to highlight some of what I think are must have accessories, some of the accessories I've chosen to go with all my Jivy gear. And all this is from Jivy, so it all matches and works perfectly well together, starting with their very simple uh, lid nets. So they make different nets that mount to the top to the hooks in the lids of the top cases and the pannier cases so that you can just slide light stuff in there that's easily accessible. Just a very nice, inexpensive way of making the case more useful. Now also, I've bought the pad that mounts to the 58 liter case so that somebody can lean against that like a backrest. If I do have a passenger and they don't have to lean against the hard metal or the hinges of the top case, nice, really inexpensive add-on to the case there as well. I also went with the padded liner. Now this is not just a thin fabric liner. This is actually padded to make sure that the contents of your case are protected. So let's say you're putting a laptop or some helmets in there or something you don't want to bang around and get knocked up. This is going to be protecting the contents of the case. Now it's also going to protect the case itself. Your case is aluminum. Let's say for example, you didn't use this pad or this liner and then you put in a fully loaded metal water bottle and went for an off-road ride and that thing's banging around inside, you're definitely going to dent that aluminum. So this is going to protect your case as well because it's again, it's padded. Nice and easy install and it's also going to work nicely with their storm bags. 
These storm bags, as you might guess from the name, are a dry bag. They're a roll top style uh, uh, dry bag that's designed to go directly inside each of the different sizes of their top cases and pannier cases. And as you might guess as well, this is the 58 liter that's going inside my top case. I also went ahead and got two of the 37 liter bags that are gonna go in my matching Outback hard pannier cases. So I went with the 37s, not quite the 48s, didn't need that much space. I like if the, the bike stays a little more narrow, especially for lane splitting. And one thing that's cool about buying a pair of these Outback cases is they actually come with an additional lock core so that I can make the lock match and have the same key that works across my top case and my two pannier cases. Now, these cases are actually pretty waterproof. I, I went ahead and tested this. I hit it with a hose and even with the highest pressure I could get it, not a single drop of water went inside that top case. But if you're going for four hour ride and driving rain at 50 miles an hour, that might change. Water might be able to press through and get into that top case. So this dry bag style bag that slides in is gonna help keep everything inside your cases dry. Now, I don't like riding in rain. I'm always gonna avoid it as much as I possibly can. So I didn't even buy it for the dry bag capability. What I think is even better about this is that these are simple uh, bags that'll slide in and out and makes traveling so much easier. If you've got three bags that can just slide right out of your cases, you don't ever have to worry about taking the cases off. You can just leave those on your bike locked up and just slide out your bag and go into the hotel room or the campsite. And lastly, I wanted to get a tank bag, but I didn't want one that was too huge because I'm gonna have more than enough storage. But having something right in front of you that's easily accessible, especially that you can mount your phone on, is really, really convenient. And my, my Baja ride, I lost my passport because I just threw it in a pocket and forgot to close that pocket well enough. That would not have happened if I had a proper tank bag like this. And this new one from Jivy is really convenient. First of all, it features their tank lock um, technology, which is a ring that is specific to your bike that mounts over your gas tank and then this just clicks right on and can be easily removed with a little lever that you pull on and it is keyed so you can actually lock this to the bike. Now you can still open the zipper of course so you wouldn't want to leave anything any valuables on the bike but if you do at least lock the tank bag to the bike the tank bag is not going to go missing. Now of course you open it up and it's got a nice spot to throw your sunglasses. It's a nice um, soft inner liner and you can keep anything in there that you want to. It also comes with a nice little waterproof snug case that can go right over it in case you do get caught in the rain and it still has a window on it so you can look down and see your phone if you're using that for navigation. Now, one thing I like that they've done with this new one is they did not integrate that plastic window into this case because it used to have to be really thick to stand up to the elements. Now what they have is a quickly removable one that's almost like a little mini dry bag for your phone and that quickly Velcros on right here and that can be easily removed so you don't have to worry about the rest of it. I like that. It means that that's not gonna like yellow and decay and on their dry bag little version, it's a thinner, it's a thinner plastic so you can definitely access the phone more easily. Let's start the install by mounting all the Jivy monokey hardware to the top plate. Now make sure to use Loctite on all the bolts for this entire installation to make sure nothing comes loose. First install the monokey lock stud. Then install the two top case rear studs. Lastly, install the rubber spacers. On the opposite side of the plate, install the trapezoidal spacers using the supplied screws, making sure they're in the orientation shown here. factory Ducati rack, install the two support brackets using the supplied hardware, making sure to align them as shown in order to fit the rubber clamps. Install the lower portion of the rubber clamps between the factory rack and the dynamic brackets. Now place the top half of the clamp, then the top plate and connect everything together using the supplied hardware. Lastly, install the 2.5 inch cylindrical shim supports. 
Go through the whole rack and tighten down all your hardware to make sure that everything is snug. Now you're finished with your install and any of your Jivy monokey cases will lock into place easily. We've got links to all these products in the description. For great prices, check those out on Motoroso.com. If you want to see all the other mods I did on my Multistrada Enduro, head on over and watch that video now. Thanks for watching.